I'm Allison Sheridan in the No Silicast Podcast, and I have a special guest on today, uh, my father-in-law, Ken Sheridan. And Ken has agreed to come on to talk to us about 1Password and how it's maybe made his life a little bit easier and how we uh, talked him into using it and what it's been like for him. So, uh, Ken, uh, welcome to the podcast. Well, thank you. I appreciate your uh, honoring me. <laughs> well, um, I wanted you to talk a little bit about what your life was like before having one password, uh, a password manager to take care of your passwords. And then after that, we'll kind of talk about how it uh, changed after you got one password. Oh, it was terrible before I got it. <laughs> but it's uh, much improved, yes, because of the one password. And there are several, several reasons. So what was difficult for you before? Well, there's two or three things I should point out. I uh, had uh, neck surgery about two years ago, and as a result of the fusion in my neck, uh, it resulted in neuropathy in all my fingers of both hands. And so I only have about 50% feeling in fingers of both hands. So when I type uh, now, it's very slow, and it's hunt and peck. Okay. And when you have complicated passwords, which we're supposed to have, uh, it just makes it all more difficult to uh, put in passwords all the time. Did you do you have a, a ton of passwords you use every day? No, I, I have maybe thirty uh, total passwords, which is low, I'm sure, compared to most techies. But uh, there are three that I do use uh, frequently, and I use them a lot more because of one password. Those three are my two bank passwords, the two separate banks and mutual fund password for all my financial transactions and those are very critical and I never used to check those uh, regularly every day but now I do because it's so quick and so easy to skip from one to the other once you're into one password instead of putting separate passwords in I used to check them once every week or two now I check them every day just because it's so much easier activity there that's uh, possibly uh, fraudulent so I know you've been uh, really good about understanding security and how important it is to have long, complex passwords. So you were already good at that, except it was hard to put in because, uh, as I recall, you had it on a piece of paper and you had to read it and type these things in, correct? Yeah, I had to go get it from my hiding place and uh, in a, pages of a book and then look at the password, Look at because I could never remember these complicated passwords, 30 of them. So uh, I have to do that every time, and now I don't. So that's a big asset right there. I like that. I like that. Now, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to bring you on, you said I had permission to tell people your age. Uh, you're 80 years old now? Yes, I turned 80 March 6th uh, this year. Hot dogs. So what was it like going from the piece of paper to using 1Password? How did that happen? Steve, uh, and you, of course, uh, and plus Mostly Steve. <laughs> Pardon? Mostly Steve, I think. I'll give him credit. Your son. Well, he, he's the one that's set it up, but you kind of uh, suggested he do do that for me, So which, which I appreciate from both of you. Uh, now, let's see, back to the question. When so what was it like being converted over? How did, that, uh, how did you get used to it? Uh, the initial setup was what was difficult uh, okay. for Steve because he did it, and uh, with, uh, it's rather intricate in some respects because I wasn't used to it. So I basically just watched Steve set up one password without doing it myself. I gave him the information, but Steve did it. And so for anyone new at it, that's the only hard part. Right, right. So once you got into it, you got you got pretty used to just, uh, I think you, uh, do you right click to enter the passwords? Is that what you do? You don't have to do that anymore. Uh, oh. As a result of some changes that uh, the uh, mutual fund and uh, I guess the banks made, now I just uh, cl uh, click once, uh, to uh, or double click on the individual uh, uh, account uh -huh. and uh, then it opens and then I click again because the password and passwords and the uh, ID uh, uh, codes are already in there. So uh, I don't have to basically it's a two click job now. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to put complete words in your mouth, but I'm going to. <laughs> Would you say that you feel like you're able to be more secure now because uh, you've got those good passwords and you don't have to remember them? Well, yes, yes. <laughs> because when you have a lot of passwords floating around, um, you, you have to keep track of them somewhere and you have to look at them frequently. And that I don't have to do that anymore. I, I now have a uh, located a a safe hiding place for uh, 
our two one one passwords. Mer, my wife Merlee has one, and I have one. We have them recorded on a uh, piece of paper at in our uh, safe deposit ba- uh, box at, at our bank. Oh, that's a good idea. So if anything should happen to either of you or both of you, then uh, your heirs could get a hold of the accounts and yes. be able to get in. Yes. So uh, that that's fantastic, Ken. Well, this has been great. That was pretty much all I wanted to uh, ask you about, and I appreciate you coming on and uh, doing a little testimonial for everybody to hear what it's like to use a password manager. Yes. Yeah, so, well, thank you for letting me be the star of the show. For <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the interview. 